Week one is complete. What's going on guys, James Crowley here, welcome back to a new video. So right now I'm currently 17 weeks out from my photo shoot. So this is vlog number two now for my uh, photo shoot prep. If you missed out on the first one, make sure to go back and check it out. I'll have a link down below anyway. It'll be card just here, so check it out. I'll be documenting every single week, so like week weekly. My plan is like every Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll upload a video, update on the week, uh, check in, etc. See how everything's going. Super excited for these next few weeks, so make sure to follow my journey. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat. Thinking, why is he wearing a Fulham shirt? No, I, I think it's kind of dope. It's, kinda got, it's got Mitrovic on the back as well, so. I thought it was a sick, sick jersey, so I picked it up for like 20 euro there, like last year at some stage. It is currently Tuesday, 12th of January, and today is now my check-in. Tuesday is my check-in day from from now on. I'm supposed to take some progress pictures now just to send off to Gary um, for my check-in. Uh, it's around half eight right now, so I had to wait until there was some actual natural light come in the window before I could take some honest photos, because I, 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 I'd want to keep the light natural. Today's now rest day, so I'm going to bring you through my rest day. Uh, food, so it's going to be kind of full day of eating, a bit of a vlog, so I'm going to bring you through everything I do for the day. Um, I have an interesting day um, planned out and I have a few things that I want to show you, um, so let's get straight into it. starting weight for the set of this prep. Um, I'm not too worried about the weight to be honest, I'm just worried about how like how my body's looking, like how my how my body's reacting to the food and everything. Like weight doesn't really bother me too much. Like honestly even when that for my clients like weight shouldn't be the worry. Like if you're weighing yourself every day then it's mentally gonna it's mentally gonna get your head and like it's not good it's, it's not a good thing to be doing. Like because weight fluctuates daily. Um, so weighing yourself daily is just not a good thing whatsoever. So I definitely tell you, do not weigh yourself every day if you're trying to lose weight. For my clients, I get I get them to weigh themselves once a week, no more than that. If they do, like and I tell them, just don't weigh yourself any more than that. It's like usually once a week for the check-in, weigh yourself, and then that's more of like a more accurate kind of a way of seeing how your weight is increasing. The main reason for like such a big drop was like the like my body reacting to the new um, nutrition plan now, because like before I used to have, I used to be consistent with my food, but like I used to be like consistent every single day having the same meals. Like for now, the last week, I've had like a, a, a rest day um, nutrition plan, which is the same food for rest days, which I'm going to take you through now today. And then the training days, then I have the exact same foods as well. So every day, then I'm sticking to the proper, like, every gram, I'm like making sure to, like, if I'm having 100 grams of something, I'm having 100 grams, and like, no less, no more. Like, this is something now that I can't afford to mess up. Like, these next few weeks are like so, so important. But I've 17 weeks for so much time, but like, still, every single day counts. I'd say you're sick of seeing me with no top on, so let's get some top on and get some breakfast. So as well, I completely forgot that I had no mic, so this is where the sound probably sounds better from like the last few clips. I I literally put the camera down and I was like, I had no microphone on that, I was like, oh. Making my progress picture, so I actually took the, cam the microphone off the camera because I didn't need to bring it down. Um, and I deliberately forgot to put it back on, because I was going straight into talking and I was like, oh, gotta get a few points out. And I forgot to put the mic on, but oh well. Anyway, let's get breakfast. Okay, dinner is served. Look at this bad boy. So it's a five egg omelette. It's two two whole eggs, three egg whites, and then I have two turkey rashers as well. And so cook that for roughly about 10 minutes all together. Um, throw, throw it on the pan under light heat and then under the grill and does the job, cooks the top. And then 50 grams of cheese, 50% uh, less, less fat cheese in on top. So it's gonna be very, very tasty. Just add a little bit more flavor. So this is going to be meal one. I'll have the macros just up here. And also as well, I aim to have like, when, when I, whenever I'm cooking my meals, I always aim to have like a pint of water while I'm cooking the meal. And then when I'm eating, I then I aim for another pint of water. Then. So that's two pints of water, which is literally nearly, nearly a liter per meal then. So um, not, it's not for every meal, but most meals, that's what I try to do. So while I'm cooking, I'll have a pint of water. And then when, when I'm eating the meal, then I'll have another pint of water, roughly around that. So like I'm roughly getting in like one and a half, two pints of water per meal, which is very, very good. This is too tasty. So I'm going to go and enjoy it. So I'll catch you in two minutes. So you're probably wondering like what's inside in this box. Like this is like a box you can use for nearly holding weapons to be honest. And literally there probably is a weapon inside in this. You call it a weapon, right? But yes, we'll open it up, check it out. So I bought this yesterday. I haven't really figured out how to use it yet. So um give you a little glimpse. So I want to open up. It's literally a gimbal now for the camera. So like this is gonna help me make like better quality videos now and like more stable videos. So like when I'm making gym edits now and stuff, like it'll be really, really help. 
bit uh, up the quality. So I really, I really care through this. Like yesterday, I was I spent like at least an hour like trying to figure out how to use it and everything. So I might still be a bit rusty with it, but oh well. So throw that on. And it's loads of little things like. Okay, so I now have a setup. I'm using my phone now for the camera. It was actually pretty cool. Pretty thing like literally moved thing around and everything. It's actually so cool. I still don't know how to use it properly. Like so, don't think I noticed my desk. It's just filthy. There's stuff everywhere. But that's it. Um, the Stanford as well. I won't be using that the whole time. Literally just hold it. It's actually it's not that heavy. Seeing as the camera's pretty big, big and um, the mic. Hopefully now I can make some quality videos with this. Okay, so back on the camera. Like the gimbal, like I didn't need to buy it, but like it was something I was I was probably going to invest in in the future. So I was like, you know, I had the opportunity now to buy a, to buy one. Um, so I was like, you know what, might as well just get it, get the one done with. It was like even like the microphone and like the camera, like before, like getting these things. Like I didn't need them back then, but like it was something I was probably going to invest in in the future. So like, why not just get it now and like have it? Do you know what I mean? So I mean, it's not something you see every day. So um, all right, so I'm going to finish up that, put it away. And I'm just going to get some work done, so I'll see you probably later on in an hour or so for meal number two. What happened since I just like last been on the camera? I had so much stuff on, uh, so much to get through. But um, I, I even forgot to like record my last meal. But I'll just have a little clip here, a little picture of what it is, and have macros up next to it. Um, steak and veg, simple but very very tasty. Pink salt on top, unreal. I actually very look. I, I look forward to, like the, those like simple meals because I, I look forward to all the meals. Actually, they're all very very tasty. I'm really enjoying it so far. But um. Right now I'm heading into ban heading into town. Uh, I got to do a few things, get some shopping. Um, so I'll see you then. Okay, so first stop, we're heading in Lorna's house. So apart from being an absolute beast in the gym, she's actually very good at cutting hair. So stopping off to get a trim. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. To dream. Okay, so now we're just like, she just finished her college work. So I came and like stalled her, I was like, hey guys, you gotta stop here, you gotta stop doing it, I'm here. <laughs> no, don't worry, that's not it, don't worry. <laughs> but I'm um, having meal number three now. It's gonna be number three. Um, 250 grams, it looks, it looks pretty yucky to be honest. 250 grams of Greek yogurt, 100 grams of raspberries, and 100 grams of blueberries. And then we're having about roughly 20 grams of dark chocolate. Not, not the best meal of the day, but it's enjoyable, so. I'll have macros again up here, so let's get it. Okay, so guys, we're just back home. Hopefully the fade is looking fresh. Lauren did a good job. I see things on abandon. Uh, I like to go in and get them all done in one go. So it was handy to go. Went to the credit got to the bank. Got a nice few things. Now just got some client work now to finish off. Some client programs, uh, setups, and some check-ins to do. Um, so I'm gonna get this done. See you soon for meal number four. So guys, I just want to touch on a little topic now. So like, how to stay motivated for your fitness goals like during this current these current times. So yes, yeah, so we are in we are now in the middle of a lockdown, and like. You're probably like struggling, you're at home now, you're struggling, like how do I stay on top of my fitness goals? Maybe you're like big hopes and big goals for 2021 and like this lockdown at the start of the year like might have like set you back, which like did for me as well, like I had, I had loads, I had big goals for 2021, but like the lockdown has slowed them down, but like I've really tried to like, just like ignore that, but like not ignore it, like, ignore it to a sense like that I can keep going with my goals, but like that, like ignore it, that I'm not ignoring it then that you're actually like following the guidelines and everything and you're not stepping out of line of course. Like I find now, I have I have an end goal. So like I have something now. Like I get up every day, like and I'm like, this is what I'm working towards. So the seventh of May, like this is the photo shoot, the prep series you're now watching. This is this is my goal. Like this is the end goal I have now. So this is this is the reason now that'll, that'll keep me motivated, that'll keep me on top, and um, keep me like keep keep myself going every single day. Um, so it's probably good for you guys if you like even like obviously you, your goal like aren't going to be like a photo shoot. I presume not for many of you anyway. Like or something like this. But um, even like setting yourself like a tag like oh I want to be down like one kg and like by the end of this month like and always have an end goal an end like date like seventh of May like I have a date I even have a time seventh of May six o'clock that's like my deadline that's like it even comes down to the to the hour like that's how like exact I have um for the my end goal so like obviously you don't have to be exact like but you have a day like a day. You want to wake up this type, this day, and you want to be like this certain weight. That's like a little goal you could set yourself. Maybe you want to like, maybe you could be doing fitness. Like you want to go running, like go running. Maybe you want to like hit a 5k in like a certain amount of time. Say I'm not sure that like an average 5k is like 15 minutes. I'm not sure 20 minutes. Uh, say you want to hit it for a certain amount of time. Like you want to do 5k. Say if you're doing it like in half an hour. Say you will like for in two or two, two or three weeks time, try and have that like for 25 minutes. But you know, smaller things like it's the small little steps that'll take you to the long one. Like I've learned, I like obviously I haven't been in this very very long, like and I can't 
like from my experience, like it's the small things that really build up to the big things. Like you know, like even like training wise now, like I've learned the small little tricks to training that have really helped me boost and like help me build a better physique. Like obviously I've got a long, long way to go. Hopefully you now this photo shoot is gonna be a big step for me. But like I found it's the small things that will lead to the big things, guys, okay? And then having having a structure, like so you get up every day. Don't be like you get up and be like, oh, what do I do now? That's like that's wrong. You've already failed. Like you just get up and be like, right, so I'm having my breakfast at this time. I get up, like even having your alarm, like setting your alarm, like you'd be like, oh there's nothing to set my alarm, there's nothing to be up for. That's the problem. Like you should be your reason should be to get get up before it is like to have your structure a structured day that'll be so have your day structured the same every single day. So like get up like I every day now I wake at six o'clock. I just I naturally wake and I'm at six o'clock so um, I don't really need an alarm. Um, so it's grand. So I get up at six o'clock, do my few things. Um, so same with you guys, obviously don't forget that I already like but if you get up if you're getting up like nine or ten and you're like just jump uh, falling out of bed, like going out and getting a bowl of cereal or whatever, like just like literally set an alarm, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, you get up at that time every time every day. And then like have your certain breakfast. Breakfast is very important. Like if you can get breakfast on track, the rest of your day is gonna be very, very good. So like literally get up, have your have your breakfast, like have it planned out, right? This is what I'm gonna having tomorrow morning. Say like it could be your bowl of cereal or whatever, like but like you have it planned out, you know what you're doing. And then the next meal, that's why it's really good as well, like having a coach, like I have something now, like I have a plan that I'm following every day. It's like it's structure I have structure in my day and I have a plan. So this is this again helps with the motivation to keep me going. It's like you guys like even reach out to me, I can definitely, I'll 100% give you help, I'll help you out. Like with a plan, give you a structured day, like it'll help you reach in your goal. Like having a like having a reason on why to do it, like why, like you gotta have your breakfast. Why do you want to have your breakfast? Like why do you want to have um, this certain thing? Oh, because it tastes nice, oh, but this one will help me to my reach my goals or whatever. Like making those little choices throughout the day that will help you keep pushing towards your goals. Like this is, this is a time, this is not like a time for setback. This is a time for like, this is a time when we adapt we adapt to what we have and we just keep pushing on. Like it's gonna be difficult for everyone, I know it's very, very tough, um, but this is really when we need to knock it down. This is like, these are the hard times that will like, that will like make the good times even better. So like just imagine now when this is all over, like the progress you've made now, you'll be able to enjoy it like that once we've opened, everything's open up again. I know it kind of went all over the place there, I was just talking about a load of, load of different things, but like hopefully like you can get something out of that and like it will help you stay motivated like for these next few weeks even hopefully it's not months but like hopefully it is it is just weeks because um again if you want any help with it, and if you want to talk about anything just literally give me a text uh reply comment come reply in the comments I'll, I'll like i check all my comments all the time and i reply not to the don't there's too many of them like but i reply to all my comments anyway and i i'm always checking them out so if you are just comment down below or whatever or just give me a text on instagram or something just contact me and i'll definitely help you out like if you're if it's fitness related if it's just even in general, like lifestyle readers, give me a shout and I'll 100% down to give you help. And so hopefully you took some valuable information out of that. That was like a bit of a rant, not a rant, but it was a bit of, a bit of like a talking about like everything. It was like all over the place, Sam. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully I'll give more of these motivational uh, speeches. But um, hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. Alright, so let's get on to meal number four. So I've just got an email from Gary now. It's the update to the plan for this coming week. So I'm um, training days now. My um, calories have gone down. Just by 110, 110 altogether. So calories from 2,800 have gone down now to 2,690 altogether. So that's a slight little um, decrease. There's like one or two um, little things gone out of the plan. Not not much of a difference really, just uh, small little things. The rest days are, are the same. Uh, literally gone down like another 120, 120 calories altogether. So for rest days, I'm now on 2,460. So like over the next few weeks, these will slowly like decrease and decrease. All right, so I'll get back to work. Okay, so it's now late in the evening, I'm actually heading to bed now pretty soon. Um, so I finished off those, I had those two meals there, uh, I just literally, I was so caught up with work and everything, I just went down and got the food, got them ready, didn't bother recording, but um, I just have pictures here anyway, so a video's here and the macros are on the side. So I had, so first, the fourth meal of the day was 250 grams of cod, um, it, was, it was full of bones, it was actually it was actually not that nice to be honest. The glass I had, it was actually fine, it was actually very tasty. And then I had 125 grams of rice, um, that's uncooked, so 125 grams uncooked rice, and then um, two cups of veg, so roughly two cups of rough. The veg is roughly whatever works. Um, so there's mixed veg inside there, very tasty again. Some pink Himalayan salt on top, ideal, tasty. And then finally, the last meal again, I'll have it up here for you, and the macros as well. So it's one, one toast of bagel, um, 20 grams of peanut butter, and then I have 20 grams of strawberry jam, and then a banana as well. Um, so put that, I have half the banana on the bagel, and then eat the other half then. 
and it's very very tasty and then on the side end I have 30 grams of protein mixed in a little bit of water and it's very tasty as well so there my, that's my full day of eating on the rest day so I've got training now again tomorrow I've like training now again tomorrow so it's nice to have a bit of a rest now after three days of training now we've got two days now again so tomorrow and the day after I have uh, lower body tomorrow and then upper body and then rest again so I'm, I'm actually really enjoying the training split I feel like getting a good recovery I'm not feeling too sore after sessions and stuff so it's actually very very enjoyable um, so all overall very 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 happy this first week has been a success hopefully now next week I can keep pushing on and do even better so guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a like subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one